Hello, I'm Jeff Chandler for the Events Calendar. Events created with the Events Calendar can have three statuses out of the box, which is also supported by the schema.org event schema. As you can see on your screen, I'm currently editing an event, and in the top right-hand corner in the meta box, we have the event status. If I click the drop-down, you'll see that I can set the status as scheduled, canceled, postponed, or moved online. Note that moved online is only available with the virtual events plugin. Now it is possible to add a custom status. If you would like to add your own custom status, then you can do it with the help of a code snippet. But before we add the code snippet, first we'll need to download and activate the code snippets plugin, which looks like this. If you search for code snippets on the WordPress.org plugin directory, install the code snippets plugin by Code Snippets Pro. Then you'll activate it. And then you should see a new menu location called snippets, as you can see on your screen. Then you'll browse to all snippets. And this is where we're going to start to uh, create and add our snippets and then also manage them. So I've already created a bunch of ones here, but first we're going to go add a custom status to the dropdown. So here is the snippet that I've copied and pasted from the knowledge base article which is this one. This is the first code snippet. And note that the snippet will not change the event status that is shown in the event schema. If a custom status is chosen for the event, then it will show up as event scheduled in the event schema. To modify the event schema, we will need another snippet, which I've already added. All of the code snippets that I'm using will be linked to down in the video description below, as there will be a knowledge base article containing all the information that we've covered in this video. Please note that schema.org only supports a handful of event statuses, which you can find at their website. If you're adding a custom status to your dropdown that is not supported, you can leave the event status in the schema as the default scheduled, or you can completely remove it like this. And we provide a code snippet here, which would remove it from the event schema. Now, making the custom status show up on the calendar and event pages will require some customization. Making the custom event status show up on the single event page is easiest with a code snippet, which we're going to go take a look at right now. So I'll browse to all of my snippets. Then I'm going to toggle all of the necessary snippets, make sure that they're turned on. And we'll take a look at this one because this is the snippet that you'll need to add it to the single event page. Now, you want to take a look at lines four by checking against the status slug on line four. Then you want to add the right slug in the class on line seven. And then you want to be able to show the right label on line 10. Once you have that information configured, You'll want to make sure that you have it run snippet everywhere, save changes, make sure it's enabled. And now we're going to go back to our events. We'll scroll down and edit the event. And if we take a look at the event status meta box, you'll see that there's the other status that's in that code snippet. And we also have rescheduled. So I'm going to set this event to the rescheduled status. I'm going to click update. Then we're going to take a look at the event on the front end and we should see a rescheduled badge show up and there it is. So as you can see, the status of the event is showing on a single event page. If you run into any issues trying to create your own custom status or having it display on the front end of your website, please contact our support team.